Welcome back to Sekiro with me and my wife, Anni. Meow, 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 meow. What did we do in the last episode? We beat the uh, Orin and the monk. Oh, yeah, that's a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. So in this episode, we're going to go into the wedding cave, I think. But before that, I wanted to show you the recent patch that was just released for the game i believe it's the first one to be released and it seems to have made a lot of changes especially to balancing things and i just wanted to go over the notes so let's look through them this is on the official website the japanese website apparently but they have an english version here adjusted the efficiency and spirit emblem cost of the following to encourage usage and diversity of approach so a whole bunch of prosthetic tools um the only one of which I've actually used is Loaded Axe. And it doesn't say how it's changed it. So this, you know, could have increased the cost, decreased the cost. Who knows? Combat arts, a whole bunch of them. The only one. Um, <clears throat> Floating Passage. Is that one that I have? I'm not sure. Sorry. But uh, out of these, the only one that I'm sure we have is Mortal Draw, which I just used a couple times in the Orin of the Water. Mm -hmm. The Orin of the Water boss fight that's the one that i don't even know how i got it and it basically is a super strong attack that has a really far range so that's been adjusted somehow i hope made cheaper i think it was pretty expensive yeah items the spirit fall series no idea what that is reduce the posture damage dealt by the first hit of the combat arts senpo leaping kicks and high monk as it was causing more damage than intended in certain cases posture damage dealt in the latter half of the combo has been increased what is that what i have no i definitely don't have the leaping kick there's no leap it's just some sort of a punch thing that i have right now mm. increase the poison build up dealt by the prosthetic tool sabi maru against enemies that were intended to be weak against it good so does more poison damage yeah but i wonder what people were intended to be weak against be weak against it yeah <clears throat> Increase the drop rate of Divine Confetti for fencers in a Sheena Castle. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what the fencers are, but more Divine Confetti is always good. I think the fencers are the dudes in Turquoise. Close. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Adjusted loading tree tips and tutorial text. Uh, so that's all of the, like, big balance changes. Um... Other fixes, slightly reduce posture and vitality of Blazing Bull in order to improve game pacing and balance time in combat. Yeah, that makes sense, because I remember when I hit the Blazing Bull, it was surprisingly really damn difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lower the price of information sold by Anayama the Peddler. The Chained Ogre inside Ashini Castle is now red-eyed. Well, we fought one outside of the castle, and that, I think, was red-eyed. Yeah, so is there another one? Yeah, I guess there's another one we'll encounter. Huh. Fixed a bug where Gokon Sugar and Gokon Spirit fall. We're not mitigating player posture damage taken while guarding or deflecting enemy attacks. Good. Uh, fixed a bug where system crashes could cause save data to become corrupted on PC. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, bug where some enemies would just stop attacking the player. Haven't encountered that. Certain actions cannot be performed after reconfiguring the controls. Haven't encountered that, of course. Mm. I haven't done this, but this sounds like very sad for speedrunners, potentially. Fix certain bugs that were allowing the player to access unexpected areas, which could result in becoming unable to obtain items or make further progress. Oof. I mean, it's good that they're stopping you from doing things that apparently could totally break the game and make it so you can't progress. Yeah. Yeah. Fix certain cases of text being displayed incorrectly. Improve stability. Performance. Other bug fixes. Okay, I said we were going to go into the wedding cave, but then I just remembered a whole bunch of other things. Uh, the biggest of which is the fact that we just gained the ability to go underwater. So now I, of course, have to go back through every single body of water we've ever encountered. Uh-huh. So let's do that instead of the wedding cave. But before that, even, I wonder if they've... I think they've prepared themselves. Oh, boy. Oh, 
そこもとに切られないのだ。承知。さあ、やれい。They were alive. They had a buck in them. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Marsh, do we have a buck in us? Maybe. We might. <laughs> It was symbolic. <laughs> What did you drop? Whoa. Huh? False tooth loaded with a secret shinobi drug, blue in color, can be used repeatedly. Oh, that's the bite down stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Crush the blue nostrum between the back teeth to die as often as one pleases could be useful in certain situations. Surely an unnecessary reminder, but the first death is typically one's last. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can be used repeatedly. That's of very limited use to most people. Mm. Could be useful in certain situations. I don't think I've ever encountered that situation yet. Yeah. Uh, K? <laughs> Hold B and, and left stick to sprint. Oh, it must be the update. It changed some of the tutorial text. Maybe they reset all the stuff oh. or something. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we went to the first water uh, pool, body of water in Harada State. The only other one in Harada State is this one here. Let's see if there's secrets. Or just some koi. Oh no. Did so, I lose it? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool I can just be here amongst the reeds. Yeah. Can see a little bit of breath coming out, which is weird if you think about it. I'm breathing out, but like, am I breathing in? Yeah. So, like, are these secret carp that are only here when you're deep underwater, or do you、Maybe. think they just like respawn eventually? I feel like there was another body of water here as well. Right? One where you have to. One that's come next to the. Graveyard or something? Oh! Yeah, you have to jump over. Um. The. This thing. Blockage. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Find something other than just carp scales. I mean, carp scales aren't good, cool enough, but like, I want to find a secret little place. Yeah. Like an underwater cave or something. Yeah. That's it for the Rada State. Yeah. I was just scrolling through all the locations trying to figure out where there would be water, trying to remember all the locations. And I was going across the Ashina outskirts, and I thought of something. Is this person still in here? Oh, they're not.、Mm. I think they left. I think there's a note over there. I was thinking,、um, when the info. What are they? I guess they're. I don't know what they are. The person who we just bought the kunai from? Mm hmm. 
They said they wanted somebody strong and burly. I don't know if this person's really particularly strong or burly, but I figure we should ask them, mm. given that they're kind of like near the battlefield of bodies. Yeah. I'm glad I came back. Because what's this? At Sunken Valley Entrance, much activity near Great Serpent Shrine. The Tengu has rats to see to. Oh. Sunken Valley Entrance. Okay. Let's also go see the merchant. The memorial mob that's just outside of here. Because I'm still trying to figure out who has the other mask piece. Cool. Mm, not them. Aww. Yeah, I've bought most of their stuff. A couple of light coin purses and dragon's blood droplet I could buy. But that's about it. Yeah. I don't know. I, are we just going to see where this goes? Yeah. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Have I? You never came here. What the hell is this? What the hell? Uh, to catch you up, I'm trying to find what is considered the valley, like the beginning valley or the sunken valley entrance to find that person, because I don't actually know where the hell it is. So I went to the topmost, which I feel is probably like the earliest shrine in the sunken valley category and i was like where the hell is this i don't really remember being here i just went along this area which i guess you've probably seen i'll try to include that in the video came out here and we haven't been here i huh <laughs> i'm very confused they said a sheen outskirts though yeah oh is it you again why are you plaguing me? Who is that? Who? It's that spirit thing. What? Just like I... Just like I encountered a... Um, in Mibu Village. Huh. It seems like it's plaguing me. Huh. Remember the spirits that plagued you in Dark Souls 2? Yeah. God, they were annoying. God, remember that one spirit that um, wouldn't fight you? You mm. added like an NPC? Mm-hmm. And it waited until you started walking away from it, and then yeah. it backstabbed you. Such a little shit. Yeah. Oh, shit, there's a whole bunch. Oh, fuck. I mean, shit, huh? I guess it's not the same enemy, then. Same type, obviously, but... Um, what's my technique? Nightjar Slash. Oh, yeah, uh, let's try Mortal Draw, see how much it costs. Actually, it just says cost three. Uh, Is it less than it cost before? I don't remember. No memory. Hey, no fair. Oh, Jesus. They do a lot of damage. Yeah, they sure do. Oh, there's some water, actually. Oh, what? Jesus Christ, that's more than Jesus. half my health bar with one hit. I 
I think actually Whirlwind Slash might be good because doesn't that always take down the Vitality? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. They're just like, where'd you go, bro? <laughs> go, bro. Go, bro. <laughs> Even spirits can burn. Ah. <sighs> They will respawn, though. Mm. <sighs> I'm just so confused about this location. What is this? I don't... How could I have missed it? And what are these things? These pillars? No idea. Obviously ceremonial. I can understand how you missed it, though. Because it's like a narrow path. You probably just saw it and thought, yeah, yeah, that doesn't... There's no path there. Yeah. Prayer bead. Oh. Certainly worth it to come over here. Hmm. I remember being on the right side over there and couldn't figure out how to get to the left side. I don't think we have been to the left side still, have we? Maybe? I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> that's a spot that's like right at the end of the grave. The fresh, what was it? Fresh grave? place remember we saw the dug up grave it's just open like something left the grave mm. progressed down a little bit and came to that bridge where we couldn't go any further sorry doesn't ring any bells it's okay it ain't my fault that my bells ain't being rung <laughs> it's a really cool ice cavern I'm scared about what might be in the water. Yeah, I mean, freezing cold, right? Yeah. Let's go. What is this? Secret passage, yes! yes! See, and if we'd come here earlier, we wouldn't have the breathing technique. Yeah. This is good, actually. Yeah. I'm just enjoying swimming. Just enjoy being a dolphin. Yeah. Should I draw a picture of the wolf with wolf ears? Yes. Dolphin. <laughs> That's wolf persona. Everyone's <laughs> always like, I thought I thought it would be wolf. Uh. They're like, actually, I'm a scaly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you'd call yourself if you're into sea life yeah like <laughs> yeah like i guess it's a mammal but like it doesn't have fur yeah is furry still appropriate my uh sound was at the side of that blade do you see it oh no is I that... that the headless oh shit that's the body actually i just realized yes that's the headless Oof, that's the third headless i should probably learn to fight them yeah more of those uh, cairns, graves, whatever they are. It's just a pitch black room in the headless in the center of it. <laughs> oh boy. I don't think I can be sneaky. Like, I think they just sense your presence. Yeah. I could try. Sure. I have many gachin sugar. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's actually get ready. Um, I've already got this on my bar. That's good. Let's actually switch these around. I want the pellets to always be first. Two healing items. Then the model modeled purple gourd. I don't need that or that. Should you go travel back, rest, then come back, run past the enemies? So you only have three right now. Yeah, I probably should. Well, let me see if I can get a backstab. If I can't, I'll... Yeah, okay. Can't do that weird backstabby thing if there's only water behind me. <laughs> yeah, so I started out at this idol, Under Shrine Valley. That's the first one listed in the Sunken Valley. I'm just trying to piece this together to make sense of it for me and the viewers. I can see a little wall up there. This is the way I went to get where I just was, the headless was. I just went right over there. I didn't bother going down here. Is there something down here? Or does that just, like, take you up? Looks like it just takes you up. Yeah. So instead of going forwards, actually, let's just go backwards real quick until I come to something I recognize. Oh my god, they're all over the place! Good god! Did you accidentally ring the bell of difficulty or something? Yeah, like, what did I do that triggered all these? Um, okay, but I do recognize this. Maybe... Oh, there's that up there. This is how I got into the valley, isn't it? I dropped down, maybe? Maybe? So then I saw this, and then I just kept going this way, and I never, like, came back here and tried to go the other way? Huh. Maybe that's how I missed it? Yeah. If this is the beginning of the valley, then... Like, the valley entrance must be just above me, which must be where that dude is. Yeah. I don't remember where that was. Can I can't reach that. Can you jump a, a double jump against a wall one? Oh, shit. Uh -oh. oh, wow, that was easy. <laughs> Great Serpent's Shrine. They were talking about a shrine. Oh, that actually would be a good play. Yeah, oh. that's probably it. That's probably it. Oh. Aha! Yes! Unni spotted the Great Serpent Shrine. And they were right. Ah, yeah, and that takes you down there. Ah. Oh. So it's under Ashina Castle, Great Serpent Shrine. Been busy. お、関ろか。これ。うん。ナイフのネズミ are they basically saying come back later when you have a skill? I guess so. A secret technique. Uh, I don't know what that'd be, but... Alright, not good enough for you. Alright, I want to fight that headless demon after the pool of water. But let's practice on one of the headlesses since I'm assuming they're all about the same. In difficulty? Let's practice on one that's a bit closer. Let's go to the first one that I found near the Bell Demon's Temple. Because that one's just like right here. Yes. So no particular strategy. I don't know the fight at all, so I'm just going to try to learn it. Just got healing gourd, pellet, and the anti-fear thing.
Damn. You're blocking, you still got damage. Yeah. They sound like trans being when she wants food. Doing extremely little damage to them. That's because you're only used to find confetti. I know. But like, I have to kill them twice. You will. I'm sure the divine confetti is going to make a huge change. I'm not sure about the blocking though, because like I'm taking damage no matter what. So I'm not sure yeah. what I should block versus what I should, like, run away from. Yeah. No idea. Sorry. Like, I wonder if I should run away from them? Like, is this going to be a really slow fight? I Obviously, know. I won't... I don't know. Okay, let's try this with the Divine Confetti. Akko Sugar for increased damage. damage you did with just three hits. Oh, holy shit, you're right. Okay, hold on. Fuck. Yeah, it does a shit ton of damage. Like, an amazing amount of damage. But I'm so slow. Get over there. Fuck. Oh, really? Terror. Shit. Okay, that does so much damage. I can definitely get a uh, a death blow off of just like one confetti. Yeah. I didn't even need to use another one there because I just needed to hurt their posture a bit more. Okay, I'm going to take the pacifying agent before the fight since it increases resistance. I'm assuming more than the cord. I hope I can stack three things. I'm sure you can. Probably, because I feel like they're totally different categories. Those stack. Yeah, holy Fuck shit. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh shit, my tear. Oh shit. Actually, I don't I might not need another confetti. It's below half health. Okay, yeah. Let me just try to get down. Strip walking and Okay, fucking hell. Alright. Don't, don't go away from them, apparently. Okay. Terror. Oh no! Oh nasty! Oh my god, you didn't die! Holy shit! Terror. Okay, you gotta revive. Oh, you your terror resistance gone down. Yes. Terror. Damn it. Dead. So close. So close. Okay, I have two divine confetti left. I've been trying to get by on just one, because you can, theoretically. 
Because I get them below half health on their second health bar with just one divine confetti. So I've been doing a pretty good job of getting their posture down. But God, it's just... Well, you've seen what happens. So I'm just going to use both divine confettis. I even jumped. It's okay. I'll live. Oh, my divine confetti's out. Finally. Finally. What is this? Akko Spirit Fall. Fallen headless spirit of Akko that increases vitality and posture damage for a time. Consume spirit emblems to use repeatedly. Headless are the ruined form of corrupted heroes who once fought for their country. Seize the power of an inhuman spirit by laying it to rest, but risk going quite mad unless something is offered in return. Spiritfall was mentioned in the patch notes. I forgot what it said it did to it, though. Uh. Oh. Damn. So, Aqua Spiritfall is a quick-use item. It takes two spirit emblems, and I'm wondering how long it lasts for. Hmm. Oh. That's a good amount of time. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Just went away. So that was like 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. All right. So I want more divine confetti since I'm completely out. There's no way I can kill the other headless. So I'm going to try to farm it a bit. The patch notes mention increasing the drop rate of divine confetti from the fencers in Ashina Castle. Pretty sure that's the light blue people around here. Aquamarine for those who know their colors. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> so let's try taking a possession balloon and just see how many we get. Turquoise. Damn. Did you they still do shit done damage, huh? Oh, you, you took the undeaf ear thing, not... Oh. <laughs> I took it again. It's bluish. <laughs> nice. Scrap magnetite. Okay, that's cool. Cool. I'm going to want to try to get the others. Mm. Um by stealth cuz honestly that's faster. Yeah. I 
I don't know how many I can kill on one possession balloon. Nothing. Cool. If you can Kiri counter them once, you kind of set. Nasty! Nasty man! Wow. Are these the fencers? Ah, one. So I farmed those uh, turquoise. Did you say turquoise? Yeah. Turquoise wearing fencers in the Sheena Castle. And even though I didn't get any on the, my first pass through, they do actually drop them, just not that commonly. I did maybe three or four passes and managed to get two divine confettis, which provided I don't die. Should be enough to take out this headless, provided it's not like more powerful or something. I really hope it's not. Yeah. So let's try it. This is the one that you get to through the pool. Pre game ritual. Yep. Which would be pacifying agent. Everyone together with us at home. Aka sugar. Aqua sugar. A divine confetti. Boop. Boop. They don't have any more um, stamina, at least. Hmm. Or health. Oh, terror. Oh, uh, fuck. It's okay, you gotta revive. Well, at least my terror's gone. Yeah. Not scared anymore. <laughs> Once you die, you can't be scared no more. Yeah. I think you should keep top off. Oh. Hold on. Let me change this out. I've got praying strikes. You ran That's... out of divine confetti also. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to use anything good. What about mortal draw? I don't know. Maybe. That uses my blade, so it should get the effect of the divine confetti, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, fuck. No, wait. I'm pretty sure it's a different blade. You don't think I should use it? No. Okay. Um. Maybe Nitro Slash. Yeah. It's always a good bet. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that one definitely seems like the same as the other one. I, yeah. I don't think it was any harder. Oh, is that what they all give you? They give you the basically reusable forms of the candies, don't they? Oh. Okay, yeah. 
I don't know if it's exactly the same as the candies, though, because the first one did, like, two things. Are they increase your posture damage and your damage? But maybe that's, that's probably what it always does, though. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was red. Gokons. Um, oh, I think I got another skill point. They probably match the colors, right? Like, Akko's, Spiritfall, Akko's, Sugar. Yeah, Gokons. Okay, cool. Yeah. I can't say that's terribly useful, to be honest. Yeah. Because, I mean, I you haven't have run so out many. yet. <laughs> yeah, but if I run out, that would be useful. Yeah. I wish they gave me prayer beads, too. Mm. Maybe you'll find another prayer bead. Yeah. In this room. Yeah, like, what's this? Oh, that's a different type of wax. Grave wax. Yeah. A uh, lump of fatty wax that was formed inside the body and turned pitch black, used for occultic prosthetic tool upgrades of an advanced nature. Oh, I think we've seen... I think I've maybe gotten one of these before. Yeah. A long-suffered illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It's customary to run water over the site of an extracted growth. God. Super gross. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Divine grass. I've never used one any one of these. You maybe you should. Sounds like they're super good. Restores whole vitality and also cures all status. Yeah. It's like a full restoring Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it for this little place. Yeah. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, I don't know if we're actually getting get to the wedding cave now that I've remembered the water thing because yeah just gonna keep going through all the different bodies of water and see if we could find more treasures or carp scales or secret entrances <laughs>